Hello? Hey, hey. I am also not a lesbian. <laughs> I gotta sit over here. Yay, Mike! Remember, you asked for this. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, first of all, on behalf of Eric and Jody, I want to thank you all for coming to support this great couple. I know it means a lot to them that you all took the time to come here on their special day. Also, Marty and Ronnie, thank you for transforming this place into an amazing, amazing wedding venue. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. help. I know there are a lot of hands in here, so thank you all. Um, I'll get to you in a minute there. <laughs> first, let's start with Jody. <clears throat> so, first of all, let's give a round of applause for how stunningly beautiful she is. Woohoo! Woohoo! So I met Jody 20 plus years ago, three kids ago. I think she was pregnant the first five years I knew you. Uh, <laughs> Babysit uh, both boys and Kerrigan as well, way back when. Uh, Eric, I haven't known as long. When I first met Eric, I think he was probably up in a tree, swinging a chainsaw around, beer in his hand, probably had some chew hanging around somewhere. Huge truck, I think he had an AR under his coat somewhere. Uh, knee high rubber boots, camo on. Sounds like lots of people in room, probably. Uh, I think he thought deer you Urine was cologne. Uh, he, was, he was a real tough guy. Now let's look at him today. Suspenders, khakis, bow tie, drinking wine out of a box. But all right. Uh, I actually went to his house in the fall to watch football. He put out a cheese platter. I think he called it hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> That's true. Uh, this is the same guy who got a single order steak for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the same day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, as much as Jody may have softened him up, I really don't think anybody melts his heart like this little girl right here. Eric, the way she looks at you every time she sees you is incredible. You can tell she really thinks you're her real life superhero. Um, and in case she ever forgets when she becomes a teenager, um, you have so kindly built an arsenal directly <laughs> outside of the bedroom. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. I thought it was tough for me. I walked in Marty and Bonnie's and there's a gun cabinet right over her shoulder. Hi, how you doing? Gun cabinet. Um, <laughs> You know, just letting me know I, I better treat her treat her right. Now imagine if, as you get to the bedroom, there's an arson three feet away that the dad has dedicated part of his home to. Good thinking, Eric. So, on top of that, not only has he become the apple of Dylan's eye, but he's also become a tremendous role model to Tyler, Brendan, and Kerrigan, showing them truly what stability, integrity, and working hard for what you want really means. I can also tell that Jody appreciates all you do for her kids. And this was evident when we had our bachelor party last month. <laughs> this whole table just puckered up. <laughs> uh, you know, my plan was to take Eric out for a day, you know, golfing, drinking, dancing. Um, Eric loves dancing, as you can see here tonight. <laughs> What what food was I planning? I don't know. Nope. McDonald's on the way to Cronin's. Go to Stewart's, get some frozen pizzas. Nope. No no no. Not not in Jody's world. We walked into the house and we were welcomed with meat and cheese platters, her famous buffalo wing dip, three trays of smoked barbecue meats, macaroni and cheese, cornbread. I'm probably missing a ton of other things. Um, it got a little hazy that night. But this is probably not a surprise to anyone who's been to Jody and Eric's for a party. Um, there's always no shortage of great food and snacks, hospitality, and the hosting she provides is second to none. And yes, that table can now breathe the sigh of relief. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, so I don't want you to think that this below average golfer has totally become soft enough. 
He still likes his red meats. Uh, we went to Disney World not long ago, and uh, we shared a small smoked grilled uh, meat platter. It had to be three pounds of meat. Um, we crushed it. But, speaking of Disney World, Jody had a bit of a mishap during our trip. Um, she may have misjudged the amount of stairs in our Airbnb and snapped a bone in her foot. But does she go to the doctor? No. She didn't go to the doctor while we were there. She waited until we got back. Where'd you go again? Take your boot? Oh, PA Medical. Oh, PA Medical. 360. Um, anyway. Anyway, she didn't go to the doctor while we were there. Um, her, her knight in shining armor came to her rescue and wouldn't let her suffer by walking around those parks all day limping. She, he actually got her an awesome wheelchair that he pushed all day long. Who's been to Disney World? Who's been to Disney World? Do you, do you know what was killed in Disney World? And how big those parks are? I, I'm not kidding. You all should have seen this. It was amazing and really a true act of heroism, again, on Eric's part. I only wish <laughs> I only wish that we were able to capture this moment for the world to see. For the world to see. For the world to see his true love for his bride. Thank <laughs> you. 